Justice. You can't keep doing this, man. What's up, bro? Talking about getting to the gym before me. Nah, nah, nah. I can't have you in the gym before me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. All right, so what you working on today? I'm working on... <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, now you're catching on. I'm working on handles. Yeah? In and out. Top of the key, all the way down to the baseline. Yeah, It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hello, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. Always a pleasure, and I mean that, to be here with Kenny and Shaq. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Portland Trailblazers going up against the Nuggets in Denver. Well, for Denver, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. Fellas, Damian Lillard has been thrust into the spotlight for his team, and he's responded to the challenge. 
putting up some great numbers. Kenny, what makes him such a tough cover? Well, first of all, he's one of the most deadly shooters in the game. So now you have to go out and guard him. Oh, but by the way, he's one of the quickest guards in the league. So when you go, by, go up to guard him, he goes by you. Oh, you put some more defense on him. He could actually dribble the basketball and change direction. Oh, and if you don't stop there, he will dunk it on you. That's what makes him so good. He's very smart with the ball because he was trained by Jason Kidd and one of my former teammates, the glove, Gary Payton. He knows when to pull up short. He knows when to use that floor floater. He knows how to get to the rim. Oakland right there, baby. We got nothing left to say. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you later. It's time for some hoops at Pepsi Center, home of the Nuggets, and we're going to bring it to you live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. For the Portland Trailblazers, they won their last contest that game against the Clippers. A three-point win in that one. Always nice to come out on top in a close game. And the way they attacked the basket in that game was unreal. I mean, after a while, the defenders seemed to just wave the white flag. Yeah, the point's not hard to come by for them, that's for sure. I'd have surrender, too, if I was trying to defend against that potent attack. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, guys, the bond between the rookies on this team did not take long to form. Prez and Young are a real complement to each other, and they're helping each other improve their games and take them to higher levels. The veterans on the team are quick to praise just how quickly the two have formed chemistry on the court. This franchise looks to be in good hands going forward. Guys? Thank you for that, David. And, and Greg, when you watch Prez and Young out there, they just are always on the same page, it seems. Uh, a great point. Both are rookies, but they already look like a pair that's been playing together for a decade. Uh, very rare to see the chemistry they have this early in their career. You don't make it to the NBA without having an exceptional workout. With that said, Prez's dedication to improving is, from what I hear, as good as it gets. I mean, he's certainly dedicated to making sure he is at his best at all times. A lot of players will use their free time to escape from basketball. But Prez loves the game so much, he seeks out even more time with the Rock. You want to talk about a team just destroying it in the NBA draft. This front office deserves a round of applause with their selections of Prez and Justice Young. Kevin, great point. Not only did they get two good players in the draft, but they got two good players that work perfectly together. You can see the chemistry there already, and I think they have a bright future as a team. Well, what a run it was for Prez and Cowell. He came in with so much expected out of him, and he lives up to the hype by leading his team to a national title. And when it got down to the nitty-gritty in that game, you just knew he was going to shine. What a storybook ending for him to close out his collegiate career on top. And in his debut, Prez wasn't able to lead his team to a win, but he certainly hushed some doubters with his play on the court. Great debut for him. And the wins will come for him and this team if he's able to play like that every time out. The ceiling is so high on this kid, and Prez looks like he can be a star. Running away with it. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. Good work, guys. Bring it in. Have a seat. Hey, we're in great shape, fellas. Now, no matter how much we go up, we need to keep that same winning mentality. Do not take your foot off the gas, gentlemen. This is our game. Come on! It's the right way and not letting up. Straight attack. Lee with the steal. And a look at Prez there, just punishing the rim. Oh, and you love the ferocity that Prez finished that playoff with. No layups for the big fella. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. 
And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. Yo, Steve. What's going on, Prez? Ernie and the guys in the studio want to talk to you. All right, let's get it. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thanks, Kevin. Now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Jay. Hey, Shaq here. Great night for you offensively. Did you feel you had a matchup advantage on this one? Did you feel he was barbecue chicken trying to guard you down there on the post? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, I don't think I had a huge advantage or mismatch, you know, but I was able to get into a position I felt real comfortable creating from, you know? And a lot of it was just finding situations that I can get an edge in, and, and that's where I was able to help the team. I don't know what you saw, but every time he tried to guard you, I was like, barbecue chicken alert, barbecue chicken alert, barbecue chicken alert. Great game, freak. Thanks, man. Now I'm hungry. Hey, baby. I hope you're getting settled in. Make sure you get some food in that fridge as soon as you unpack. Oh, you know what? I should send you something. I think Coach Falls is going to visit with you, so I'll send some food with him. Okay, look, I got to run. I am so proud of you. Call me when you get this. Bye. Thank you.